But folks, you know, the closer we get to the elections, the more Donald Trump is just spiraling out of control. Verbally and mentally, folks, just spiraling out of control. And just this weekend, he threatened the freedom of speech of CBS. His running mate, Vance, still can't say that Donald Trump lost the election in 2020, refuses to say that he lost, and, and punts to some weird crap about you know, something else and, and all of this BS in, in trying to defend himself. And then you've got Donald Trump, you know, going back to his tariffs, the, the economic nightmare of the tariffs. It's only made worse by what he just said, 100%, 200%, 500%. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's totally unhinged economically. And he threatened to withhold federal funds from California just because he can. And once again, folks, once again, he's back on the immigrants taking black jobs. He will not let this go. And I've got a chart that shows, my God, that unemployment is, is as low as it's ever been for black people. But he keeps throwing this narrative out there that they're taking black jobs. I mean, this man is is unhinged. To say that they're they're weird, I mean, it, we've gone beyond the weird with Donald Trump, folks, we've gone into dementia, you know, crazy up is down and down is up, you know, just trying to befuddle the facts with nothing more than, you know, to say that the facts are really not what you think. There's something totally else. He's, he's changed the perception of re reality for these MAGA people to the point where I don't even know how they can find their way home. And talking about that, folks, yeah, did you see where the Tons of people, thousands of people got stranded at the last Trump rally at Coachella. I guess he didn't pay the bill. Who knows what the hell happened? But take a look at this, folks. Let's kick it off with this. So he's talking about 60 minutes going off the air, basically threatening freedom of speech. I've never heard of stuff like this before. And I think that CBS, I think that 60 minutes should go off the air. I think it's the worst broadcast scandal I've ever heard. No, it's not journalism. They don't do journalism over Well, it's here. also election interference. It also is license threatening. You know, they have a license from, that's not cable. Here they have a license from the federal government. And they, they pay nothing. They pay peanuts. They pay nothing. Who cares? They Why should, should they? should take that license away from CBS. They should absolutely. Take violated. the license away. Take the license away. So first it's CBS, then it goes into NBC, and then it goes into another organization. You know, maybe it's ABC. Who knows? It's whoever he wants to take the license away. And folks, that is a threat to the freedom of speech. And it's sort of a soft moved into autocracy with Donald Trump. That's how it happens, right? You think that's innocuous. Oh, they should go off the air. No, that's not what he's... He's talking about threatening them and their license with the arm of the F FCC, folks. And, and that is a direct threat to freedom of speech. So here he is talking, rambling, really, about abortion rights and how he did everybody a favor in the United States. And it's gone back to the people. It's gone back to the states. And now they're working it out. Many states, it's already worked out already. And this is what every great legal scholar wanted for 52 years. And this is what every Democrat and Republican wanted. Everybody wanted it. <laughs> and I did it. Everybody wanted it. And I did it. No, not everybody wanted this, Donald Trump. In fact, the polling is such throughout the United States that most people feel that women should have the right to choose for themselves. I mean, that's that's what the majority of people wanted. And then how about this? So you're talking about tariffs, folks. He's all over the map. And you know how the markets and, and just generally people in business, we're talking big business, little business, they sort of like certainty. And Donald Trump is throwing all sorts of uncertainty out there in terms of what the hell he really means when he says tariffs. Your thinking is, is the threat of a 200% tariff sure. will stop them from taking the car. So you won't actually have to do it. So you're not going to actually push prices higher. I never That's until your now I said 200. I'm using that just as a figure. But you say 200 it's a lot. Oh, figure I'll, say, speech. Well, I'll say 100, 200, I'll say 500. I don't care. They're yeah, not he doesn't care. bring cars into this I country see. from Mexico and destroy what car companies we have left, but much more than that, I'm going to predict. You're thinking so it really doesn't matter, folks. It could be 100%, 200%, 500%. It really doesn't matter to Donald Trump. You know, 
And he's talking about more than just cars. He's talking about everything. So um, who knows how that's going to end, right? I'm sure the stock market's going to love that if, if he gets elected. And then, folks, you've got this. Here's Vance just all over the map, refuses to say that Donald Trump lost the election. It's like, it's like owning the libs is their, their new big thing, right? You know, we're not going to say that Donald Trump lost because we want to make those libs mad. Well, you're actually threatening democracy in the whole process of trying to make the libs mad. Here's how it went this Sunday. We're just about a t out of time here. And I want to end with this. In interview after interview, question after question, and in the debate, you refuse to say that Donald Trump lost right. the 2020 election. So I'm just going to assume that if, if I ask you 50 times whether he lost the election, yes, that's true. you would not acknowledge that he did. No. Is that correct? Yes. Martha, you've, you, you asked this question. I've been asked this question 10 times in the past couple of weeks. Of course, Donald Trump and I believe there were problems in 2020. You haven't asked about inflation. Word no, no, I'm sorry. Let's stick the to American this. People, I know. The I American know. people want us to talk Why about how to make their lives that? better. They Why don't want us to. Why say that? Because... <laughs> Because, Martha, I believe that in 2020, when big tech firms were censoring American citizens, that created very serious problems. And by the way, Martha, you're, you're a journalist. Did you hear what he's saying there about the rumor about how big tech threatened Americans? Well, that was something that they all promulgated. So I guess if you say it enough, it just makes it true, right? It becomes self-fulfilling. The more you talk about it, the more it becomes in the minds of MAGA. A reality. And that's what he's using to throw back at her. The polls are suggesting. Well, that's because of your BS that's nonstop. And the BS that's coming from Fox News. And the BS that's coming from Donald Trump. That's how they do it, folks. And so here's Donald Trump talking about a heckler. And he's suggesting that when she goes home, her parents are going to beat her up. So he's turned, looking at the crowd. He's, he's got his back to the mic. Some sort of chant. Who knows? Back home to mommy. She goes back home to mommy. Was that you, darling? And then she gets the hell knocked out of her. Why, of course, right? That's let's let's beat up all of our kids because of their political beliefs, I guess. So here he is talking about African jobs again, folks. He just won't let this go. He's talking about immigrants These taking people coming in the jobs. Are taking the jobs of African Americans that no, have been a long time. Their unemployment rate is through the roof. Wait no, it's not. The numbers. And also I'll show Hispanic you. American at a little bit less clip. They're replacing people that have been in these jobs for a long time, doing a good job, not bothering anybody. It's the big replacement theory, right? They're coming in, they're replacing, well, in this case, they're replacing black jobs. Well, take a look at this. This is coming from the St. Louis Fed folks, which is as reputable as you can get. And look at the chart. So when Donald Trump was in office, it was all around 6.0, something like this, something. It got as low as 5.8. Well, it did touch 5.3. Well, under Biden, it actually touched 4.8. And my gosh, when you look at the chart, black African-American unemployment has been lower. You won't believe the numbers. Yeah, Donald Trump, you won't believe the numbers because it's actually lower. And then when he was at this rally in Coachella, folks, guess what? He left everybody stranded. Who knows? Did he write a bad check? Did he not pay for the buses? MAGA stranded after normal. Trump's Coachella. Apparently the buses are no longer coming, or at least there used to be like 20 buses when we were being brought here, but now there's only like three buses operating. Oh. And it's an absolute... Somebody didn't pay the bill. It's just chaos. Absolute chaos. Thousands of people. They're showing video of thousands of, of people. Stranded Everybody's stranded. Everyone's stranded here. Sad. That's what you get, though, folks. That's what you get with Donald Trump. Who knows what the hell happened? Maybe we'll find out. Undoubtedly, it comes down to money, right? I mean, they started with 20 buses. Now they're only using three buses to get people out. It's probably money. That's how it works. But man, you talk about weird. This is going beyond the, the whole fright night of weird. You know, with the with the Vance thing going on with democracy. You can't say that the election was lost. You got Donald Trump unhinged. Absolutely unhinged about abortion. 
spreading half truths lies wherever they he thinks they'll stick. I mean, this is getting insane, folks. I don't I don't know what's coming next in the few days that we have left before the election, but it's not looking good, folks. I mean, this these people are absolutely off the rails and unhinged, and it's it's going to get worse.